Hi everybody, this is Jerry Keysweater from Holly Kia TV, Selbyville Holly Kia, and Felton Holly Kia. Thank you so much for joining me today as I present another walk around video. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Kia's highly anticipated redesign of the Kia Optima, the 2021 Kia K5. Now, the K5 ships in five different trim levels. The entry level, Kia K5 is an LX. Above that, we have an LXS. We're gonna be looking at the GT line. Above the GT line is an EX, and at the top of the product line is a Kia K5 GT. So what I wanna do with you today is walk you around the outside of the car, give you a look under the hood, show off the exterior features, and then we'll move to the inside where I'll show off the interior features of this car. I think you're gonna love it. Let's jump right in. The K5 is available in two different engine configurations. The GT model features a two and a half liter four cylinder engine that is coupled to an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. The GT line that we are looking at comes with a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that is coupled with an eight speed automatic transmission. The GT line and the EX model are both available in all wheel drive. Taking a look at the front of the Kia K5, you will of course see uh, Kia's signature tiger nose black mesh grille. Uh, this GT line features LED reflector headlights. One of the really cool features on this car is an amber daytime running light that kind of runs up the side and gives it a really uh, unique sort of an eyebrow look. This GT line also features LED fog lights. Let's take a look around the rest of the car. Being along the side of the GT line, you see these very nice 18 inch alloy sport wheels. Heated side view mirrors with turn signals built in. You can also see right here that this car features uh, blind spot detection. Car also has uh, Kia smart key technology where if you have your key in your pocket and just press the doors you can lock and unlock the vehicle doors. It's kind of neat to uh, point out the chrome accent that runs all along the side of the car and carries across the back trunk deck. Take a look at the back fascia. You have LED tail lights. Back up, give you a nice look. Back quarter. And finally, we'll finish up at the front. And now let's take a look at the inside of the vehicle. Taking a look inside the K5, open the door. You have this sort of embossed, almost, almost like a carbon fiber kind of look trim here with this chrome running along it have your power windows, power door locks, mirror adjustments, moving down, speakers, cup holder along the door. Give you a look at the passenger compartment, driver's seat on these uh, GT lines are leatherette trimmed and they have that GT line stitching really nice looking interior down along the bottom of course you have your power seat adjustments with lumbar support let's move into the car along this driver's panel here you have your Kia's lane follow assist as well as options for turning on and off the traction control trunk releases right here The stalk here for the headlights. On the side of the steering wheels, we have controls for the voice technology. You can access and utilize your phone 
via Bluetooth or Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. On this side, this toggles through the menus on the display. Coming back down here, you have your cruise control set. This is to pause or resume cruise control. And this is Kia's lane follow assist, which helps nudge you along as you travel through corners. It's a little bit uh, semi-autonomous. Looking at the instrument cluster, you have analog gauges as well as this TFT display in the center. This GT line is equipped with an 8-inch touchscreen display. The radio features AM, FM, high-definition FM radio. Moving on down, you have dual zone climate control as well as dual USB ports and a 12 volt power outlet. Gear shifter, it's sort of a barrel shaped gear shifter in the new K5. Also features Kia's Sportmatic transmission, so put it in drive and simply bump over and you can cycle through your gears. Here is your parking brake, electronic parking brake. This is auto hold, say if you're in a drive through and want to take your foot off the brake, you can do so without having the car lurch forward. Drive mode controller via a dial. You can cycle through smart normal, sport, and you can custom configure a drive mode to suit your preference. Take a look once again at our touchscreen, show you Kia's backup camera with active guides that help you ease in and out of any parking space. Give you a look across at the passenger seat. Again, you see that GT line. Let's take a look at the back of the K5. Back door matches the front door. There is a cup holder down at the bottom. Give you a look across the back seat passenger's compartment. Back seats offer a 60-40 split and there is a center armrest with cup holder. Move in to the car. You'll notice that the uh, driver and passenger seats both have pockets on the back. The back seats also feature hard plastic so your uh, children won't scuff them up. Center console of this GT line offers dual USB and if we take a look from the back seat to the front you can get an idea of what a nicely laid out cockpit this is. I think anybody would be happy to drive this car. Let's take a look at the trunk. Accessing the trunk of the 2021 Kia K5 is as easy as a button press here, a button at the inside of the driver's door, or pressing the button on your key fob. The K5 offers a spacious cargo area, and there are convenient levers on each side, which give you access to the 60-40 split so that you can pass larger objects through. Simply lift up the floor area of the trunk and you will reveal your spare tire kit packed nicely beneath. On behalf of all of us at Selbyville and Felton Holly Kia, thank you so much for joining me for this walk around of the 2021 Kia K5. If you like what you saw and would like to take this car for a test drive or find out more information, visit us online at www.hollykia.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
We love making these videos, and please leave us some comments in the comments section. We love to hear from you. Until next time, have a great day.